Hi Aries, welcome. This is our weekly reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Inquiring for the week of August 26th through September 1st, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, energies, messages resonate for you and bring you clarity on what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God, we're all psychic, but we're not all going through the same thing. So see what feels right for you. It could be one nugget that brings you clarity to what you're wondering. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we are all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, um, how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Aries, see how it feels for you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave, preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave? You get the gist. I would also suggest if you want to make this an interactive video with me and pull some cards for yourself, feel free. See if um, further depth, clarity, or personal signs and symbols come up for you for this reading. Um, let's begin, Aries. I'm going to start with the, I'm going to start with the fairy messages oracle deck. So let's see what God's source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for Aries. August 20, well, that's a jumper. August 26th through September 1st for the highest and greatest good of all Aries. This is nice. This is healing, healed, and healer. You know, I feel like threefold. You know, you're healing others, you're healing yourself, and there's spiritual healing here too. I want to say working with spirit in this whole process. It's healing energy surrounds you and this situation. So what does that make you think of, Aries? What situation in particular is that? Perhaps there's a little love, a little healing, a little compassion coming in that particular situation. Let's get more clarity. Let's go to, um, let's go to the numerology cards and get it. Get a card here for Aries. Let's get more clarity to the week. One card for Aries. And I feel like that one wants to come. <laughs> so we're going to take this one. This is the Karmic Completion. So it's a 10, it's an ending, and it's a beginning. This is nice, although sometimes this is hard. <laughs> you know, to be honest, Aries. It's not always hard to complete something and to start something new, you know, sometimes that's, you know, that's a big step. But so is karmic completion. This means it's a lesson that's done, something that's been repeating in your life that you're just ready to end. So perhaps, you know, you're getting an ending, finally. I want to say you're going to get to breathe again, finally. Um, you know, this is karma. So things that we do that have reactions. It's things people do to us that we react to. In the end, you can only control yourself. You can only learn lessons yourself and or not learn lessons, you know. Um, you can only change yourself in the end, you know, to heal. So I want to say you can't always control somebody else to learn their lesson. You can just learn your lesson and grow from it. I want to say also lead by example with this. Let's get more clarity for Aries. Um, all right, let's go to the animal oracle and pull a card for Aries. One card. Bring clarity to dog. So in this deck, it's different from other decks. In certain decks, I want to mention that 
the dog is loyalty. You know, it's unconditional love. It's um, companionship. It's uh, devotion. In this deck, it's telling you your loyalty is and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. So you're spreading yourself too thin somewhere, Aries, and it's time to, I want to say release those, those attachments, take the, take the chain off of that situation, those situations that aren't good for you. They're not healthy for you, you know, they're not taking you to the right park where you get correct exercise for your soul. You know, they're not feeding you properly. You're not getting your nutrients there. You know, they're not leaving good music on for you to listen to. Nothing's right there. So you need to find where that place is. Perhaps it's starting by taking care of, care of yourself first. You know, let's get more clarity. Let's go to the, um, let's go to the I Ching of Love. I hear it starts with you, Aries. It begins with you. It begins by you taking off those chains yourself and moving forward, you know, going back to the home that you belong at, where you can smell and they love you unconditionally, you know. Perhaps there's other animals there that are different than you. Whatever that means to you, Aries. But I, I see someone going back to a home that has like a lot of animals. Like a dog and a cat and a bird. <laughs> Perhaps a pony. Um, bless you. Let's pull another card for Aries. Ooh, sex. <laughs> this is Shang. It's 46. It's a 10. So it's completion. And in this deck, it means sex Aries it's love equals sexuality in the beginning right in the beginning it's chemistry it brings two people together in ways that words can't explain you know it passes those boundaries you know it's I didn't expect this card to come up Aries basically it's telling you to go with it you know so perhaps, you know, before, I want to say in certain situations with some of you, Aries, this was you. And perhaps you were learning what was good for you. You had some relationships that were like karmic relationships. Necessary so you can grow. Necessary so you can know what's good for you. Necessary so you can know what's not good for you. And perhaps, you know, you were dating a lot. Or, um... You know, you're thinking about you in the past. I feel like that that's not for everybody. I feel like for some of you, it's spreading yourself too thin with your, like, job. You know, doing too many things at once. Having too many tasks. Putting too much in your schedule. And not doing a good job, as, as good a job as you can do, Aries. If you had just given a little more focus to one of those things that you really care about. Now, coming back to relationships, remember, it's a general reading. This is not for everybody. Um, we're going to go to this because this is reality land here. Everybody thinks about this, you know, at some point. Um, it's helping you learn about what's good for you, you know, what intimacy is for you, Aries. You know what the boundaries are for you how to develop you know your sexuality you're human it's real what is good for you how do you express it are you with somebody you express it fully with can you open up more you know can you share more it's helping you to develop you know it's helping you open up it's helping you learn to release yourself into the game of love you know now we need to pull another card for Aries. Oh my Aries, I didn't expect that. Let's go to the Art of Life Tarot and pull a card for Aries. Oh, 
I feel like perhaps in the past, what sex meant to you is going to change from what it's going to mean to you in the future and now. Perhaps you're going to meet something, somebody that's healing the situation for you. Or there's a change in the situation for you. I feel like there's a growth. There's something new opening up. You're exploring something new. Perhaps you're finding somebody to do that with. Let's get more clarity for Aries. The Ten of Wands. So ending oppression, you know, ending something that's just been weighing on your shoulders for a long time, Aries. This is telling you patience and fortitude conquer all things. It's the alchemist detailed by Math Matthias van Helmont, 17th century Chemical Heritage Foundation Museum, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. And the quote is Ralph Waldo Emerson. Look at that card. Look at all the books. Look at how hard he's looking at that book. How intense he is. He's thinking so hard. You know, he can't think straight anymore. But it tells you to keep going, Aries. Keep going with the situation. Be persistent. It's almost done. In other cases, it is done, Aries. And you've learned what you need to learn. And you're starting something new. A new beginning. You know, it's a 10. So it brings you to a 1. It's a transition card. So... Let's move to the Sacred Rose Tarot and pull another card for Aries on this transition, this understanding. I want to say of relationships, of what sexuality means to you, perhaps it's going to involve more spirituality. I mean, you're watching this video. So, I feel like if you're here, you know, you're looking for something deep. You're looking for something meaningful. So, perhaps there's a change coming and something meaningful, you know, for you is coming its way. I want to say go with the flow. You know, don't hold back if this comes into your world. Trust yourself. Trust the situation. And trust that your vibration is going to match the vibration of who you're going to meet or be with, you know? There's growth here. This is the Nine of Swords. So, nightmares, getting stuck in your head, stuck in worry, not seeing the other side of a situation, feeling trapped, feeling locked, not trusting your intuition. Um, but it's a nine. So if you turn this around and you start to trust your intuition, you start to trust that you can allow these chains to drop. You don't have to see the whole picture to know which way to go, to feel which way to go, you know? Um, it's like you're covering your own eyes in this situation and refusing to see something further. Let's go to the angel tarot cards and pull another card for Aries. I hear, you know, afraid to let something go. Whatever that is. Afraid to see the truth. Afraid to see reality. Perhaps there's something you're not meant to know. But, um, it's hard when you can't sleep right. Let's get another card. Maybe it's forgiveness for yourself, for your past, for your partner. You know, your situation. The Queen of Raphael. So, matters of the heart, matters of emotion. Kind, understanding, giving, psychic. It's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel like this is somebody mature. Somebody possibly in your world to help you out of this situation. Or... Possibly the person in the situation with you, or you have water in your chart, but it's telling you to trust your intuition and your gut. Follow your heart. It's a love of home and family, and it's trustworthy psychic information. That information starts with what you know inside of you to be true. Trust those emotions. Dive deep. 